Hello, my name's Karen Kilner and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the UK and you can find me at kkcardcraft.net Today I'm going to be making a card using the Little Twinkle um, stamp set. Um, I'm using it as a Valentine card, black and white, so I'm going to be using this heart and I'm going to be using Love You to the Stars love you more than the stars sorry and also I'm going to be using this stamp here now uh, it's going to be using um, a technique that I've done before and I don't know if you can see this is a um, glossy white card and I've just popped some of the um, all-purpose uh, it's the um, shimmer paints and it's champagne mist I used and I'm going to do that, show you how I did that. And other than that, it's just a, a simple card, black and white card. And I think it's quite nice. It's got some glimmer and s sparkle to it. So it's not just for Christmas. It can be for any time. And I'm glad they've ca carried over the... Um, the um, shimmer paints that's the word I was looking for sorry my brain's gone um, this cold this is week three and it's driving me mad <coughs> right so here we go so it's a a full piece of card black card cut in half portrait way at so it's one and um four and one eighth and then we'll just fold it in half and give it a, a crease there we go then on the top of that is some whisper white and that's going to go on the top there and that is five and five eighths by five, five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. But all of the um, measurements will be on my blog, which will be in the description bar below. So that will be being stuck onto there. But first, I'm just going to put this lovely ribbon. It's um, black and silver metallic and ribbon and that's in the new catalogue um, the spring summer catalogue and it's lovely jubbly I really like it really handy for my black and white cards <laughs> so all I'm going to do is just it's got a bit creased in my bag I'm just gonna stick it down on one side pop it and then just stick it down on the back there we go and then I'm just going to put some tear and tape on the back there like this there we go I'm just doing it quickly because uh, I'll just put a few bits on. I'd probably put along all of the edge, but and I want it to be on the right hand side. So pop that in there like that. Like that. That's lovely. And then I'm just going to do the same with the um, inside piece. I've not stamped anything on the inside but that can be personal to you whatever you want to pop pop inside it but I love this twinkle set it's in it's in with the children you know the for children but I think it can be for adults too I know, I know it's good for a new baby and and what have you but I think it can say everything you need to say. I might actually even give it to my husband. 
bless him. Right, so with the um, gl glossy white cardstock, which I've done at five and seven, five and five eighths, and it's by, uh, by two and a half. So <coughs> I'm sure I use champagne, but so just going to give it a, a shake so it's well mixed. And then I'm going to pop my dauber in the lid. And then I'm just going to dab it all onto. Actually, it needs to be a little bit wetter. I'm just going to. Oops. Going all over the place. Because no. it's such a thin. Just want to make sure it's all covered. Oops. Just got a bit of cloth there. I think I've just put a little bit too much on there. Might get a bit blobby on the thing. So I'm just gonna pop that around about there and then you can't see it very well but there you go but you'll be able to see it better once I put the the um, black over the top because it, it's you can this is really good for a resist technique I mean you could use um, white um, embossing powder on and do it in embossing powder on a black paper, black cardstock. So that'd work really nice as well. But I like the glimmer of this, and I love this. And and it's I think it's a really nice technique to do. So it could be any colours that you wanted. You could have or anything. It looked nice in melon mambo. I think melon mambo and black always go together nicely. And then. I've put that stars there and then I just filled in the gaps and popped some stars around it so we're in the night sky There we go. Ah. I'm just going to leave that to dry just for a second. I'll just put the lid on that because I don't want to. And I'll just give my stamps a bit of a clean. Otherwise, it'll. All that shimmer will stick on. As I say, everything, all the products and the measurements will be on my blog. So if you pop over to that, you'll be able to see exactly how, what the measurements are. Right then, let's have a look. I think that's dry enough. So I'm using a sponge brayer. Um, these are from Stampin' Up as well. You get three, or is it, you get two of these and four sponges, I think, um, in a pack. And they just wash out and they dry really. Just under, You just run it under some cold water and all the ink runs out and um, it works out. And that and it works out perfectly. So if you've not done any prayer in before, you just need to pick up your ink and I hope this picks up enough. I've just re-inked it, so I hope it's going to be okay. So I just pick up the ink on the sponge, and I'm not doing that. I'm doing that. I'm picking it up so that it, it fills the whole sponge. There we go. And then 
I'm going to put it on a scrap piece of paper and then I'm just going to go up like that and then the, what you need to do is just do it several times and as you can see it's starting to show through this is where I'm gonna get black ink everywhere I'm gonna have to go and scrub my hands now if you can hear some scratching in the background it's the dog scratching in on her bed trying to make herself comfortable <laughs> bless her she doesn't like me working in here in my office I've got a bed there for her. She eventually comes and joins me because she like doesn't she likes she likes to be be with me. Bless her. She's getting old. She's thirteen now, and she's set in her ways. There we go. I don't know whether you can. I'll bring it closer up to the camera in a second or two. Just get it really dark. And that shows up really nicely. I don't know whether you can. There you go. Isn't that pretty? And it's got that glossy background to it. It's really pretty. There we go. I'll just put that to one side. I'll go and wash that in a minute. Get rid of that. And then, then what I'm going to use is some dimensionals just to stick that on. The back. I saw, I think it was Dawn Griffith I saw using this technique before and I've, and as I say I've used a card and I've said thank you to her before but I'm, I'm, I'm really, I've done a few cards now and I, I did a lot of Christmas, I did some of my Christmas cards with the same technique for my friends and family I, I just love it I just love that glossy feel to it so there you go there we are again you love you more than the stars I think that's really quite cute all right the doorbell's just about to ring I've got a few packages arriving anyway thank you for bye bye <coughs>